Okay, very important because I know we have a lot of viewers in Louisiana and Texas. So we want to start off the show talking about Hurricane Laura. The powerful storm made landfall near Cameron, Louisiana last night as a category four storm with top sustained winds of 150 miles per hour and a storm surge that could reach 30 miles inland. So, so far as of the time of our taping, there have been three deaths reported and including a 14 year old girl who was killed uh, when a tree fell on her home. Laura at this point has been downgraded to a tropical storm and is headed toward Arkansas. Uh, you know, Jeff, very scary. A lot of our viewers dealing with not only a pandemic, but also a hurricane. And there's the fires too. Let's not forget the fires in Colorado and Northern California. Took the words right out of my mouth. Really? Back on the same page. <laughs> I was. It's so weird you said it. I was at home, okay, watching television. People are talking in masks. There's wildfires burning in California. All the disruption from the people protests going into looting on the other side of that. This being an election year, just everything, Sam, just everything. And I was like, I'm so numb almost to everything going on. And it made me really think about what's going on now. The hurricanes hitting us. It, it almost seems surreal, like it's written in a book somewhere. But it made me appreciate what I have. It made me be thankful for my family. It made me be thankful for my new house. And I don't say that saying I'm not thinking about the rest of America and what's going on there. It made me happier. It makes me want to be a better person to help solve some of these problems if I can in some sort of way. Yeah, you're just appreciative more yeah. than, now more than ever. And I just want to give, you know, our, our our thoughts and our prayers to our viewers. If any of you are affected, we would love to hear from you. So please write us in using the hashtag DBL Take.